All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Monster. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. You have seatbelt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. We know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, 
trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, these guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his chin into his opponent. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, collar tie. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. Under three minutes remain in round one. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Beautiful kick. They continue to exchange. Nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body. Oh, big right hand, yes. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent. He's walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Big kick. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up to see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on.
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponent because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Looking to land the leg kick now. Big kick lands. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice jab. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Slips. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage and you saw it right there with that punch. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Gets the takedown, could ill afford that. And they both stand up. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, massive knee to the head. with a right hand. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Able to check the high kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Effective punch there by Lee. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, a huge block there. Massive head kick. Just missed with the leg kick. Right under the elbow, body kick lands. Ooh, what a punch. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Just missed with that right hand. Very tricky to throw that body kick. And they separate. And both guys really throwing with authority. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Lee going for the leg kick, he misses. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Nice punch lands over the top. He's doing a nice job putting it all together. Oh, 
there's the head kick. It's blocked. What are you doing out there? Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. Up. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep throwing them. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. Throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together. Oh, lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Real nice body kick land. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he would get... Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Well, he's got his back now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice straight punch. Doubles up on the jab. Misses again with a right punch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant. Oh, right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. How good is that right hand? Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. His attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. One minute. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, that is the to continue the game posture and rain down big 
strike the airport. Got clip with the right hand. Big kick oh! land. He's start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Final seconds of round three. Ooh, head kick lands and is hurt. That's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you gotta wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. It's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, big punch land. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Connects with a right. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high level. Oh! Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Back to his feet. Straight for his lands. Throws the right hand there. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Try to establish that jab. Big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Big kick land. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Now connects with the right. Looked like it did start him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Jab hurt him a little bit. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal. Right? Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say 
I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. Big punch land. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, that one's down the hallway. The referee has seen enough. Burst by like TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the celebration is on, and it figures to continue deep into the night for the UFC heavyweight champion, and still after the knockout victory here tonight. And given all this man has accomplished, I think you can still argue that tonight is the crowning achievement of his mixed martial arts career. Knocks out the number one contender.